You know me is back with another video. Sorry I hadn't put out a video in like a week or so. It's I'll leave a link in the description as to why I haven't. But um we are back with the New York Rangers off-season episode. And yes, face cam is gonna be for this one because I love you guys. Um so where we left off, uh the Carolina Hurricanes won the Stanley Cup. We got bounced in the first round by the Toronto Maple Leafs, unfortunately. But we are up to the draft interviews. Now this is something different. Um, we always have, we always had Lafreniere and Byfield pin, but what we could do, and then Justin Barron, if he ever slips down here, um, basically the three people that they're like, oh, you guys should look out for are Theo Rochette, Donovan Nolan, and Lassie Tickenen. I'll keep Rochette there. We only have three interviews, so this will be fun. Um... Who else is halfway decent? Um, this Dawson Mercer guy might not be that bad. 67, he probably played him like the third line or something like that. NHL ETA three years. Um, so it seems like we're going to have a pick somewhere between 20 and 25. So anybody around this area would work perfectly. Um, even Ryan O'Rourke. Nine goals and 13 assists, not too bad at all. Um, just trying to think of, like, anybody that's, like... Okay, we're gonna need... Actually, you know what? No. Because what we're gonna do... Uh, is look at our... Uh, contracts. Contract situation. Um, so, what we're gonna do is... First look at the goalies, because we got Lundqvist and Hogberg, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but in the system, we will have Mad Sogard sign, because he'll be the next uh, big guy to be... Next goalie that we acquired. Um, and then Redmond will just be there, and Hogberg will be the AHL starter. Anywho, um, there's that. Defenseman. Um, we are going to look to trade Mark Stahl... And Brendan Smith. Granted, they didn't have a bad year, but their contracts five point seven and four point three five. I'm trying to I'm trying to offload them as much as possible. Jacob Trube is still young enough where you can justify the eight million for a while. Maybe at the end of his contract, we'll um yeah. At by the by that time, we should be all good. Um, Skye's fine, stuff like that. The only problem is we don't have any, like, young talents, except for maybe Ryan Lindgren, Libor Hajek, if I'm not mistaken. He played most of the... Yeah, he played every game this year. Um, and we have Darren Radish, but we'll have to re-sign him, and we'll have to sign Matthew Robertson, who I actually don't think is going to be a bad guy. Um, now, I know there's... I started this before, like, the October updates and stuff like that, so there's no Kratzov, there's no Fox or anything like that, so what we could do is uh, maybe draft two guys and then not so much pretend they're Kratzov and Fox, but essentially pretend they're Kratzov and Fox, because um, that could be uh, a thing. Looking at the people we'll have to re-sign in defense, Tony D'Angelo, which I will re-sign because he's young. And he didn't play half bad, so Darren Radish will re-sign because he's got a little bit of a potential. Brandon Crawley and then everybody else. So, um, right wingers in the system. We have Ty Ronning, who will need like one more year in the AHL. He didn't he didn't do half bad. He had 38 points in 76 games. The negative 19 kind of killed him, but, um, Elmer, Elmer's glue, bottom six, he's really nothing important. Of course, we have Capo who will get the big pay raids and stuff like that. That's why, in a couple years, um, we can't, we can't sign anybody for two years. That's the only, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll not sign anybody for two years. Just to get that out of the way, uh, Duclair, he doesn't want an extension, so we'll probably have to look for a right winger in free agency and stuff like that. Yes, for fast, we'll stay and stuff like that. Uh, Panarin, not touching. Ryder, not touching. Boosh, not touching. Lemieux, we'll have to resign, but I'm happy with that. 
Uh, Matt Bolesky, what did you play, more in the AHL? Yeah, you played more in the AHL, so... Yeah, that's a thing. Um, in the AHL, we really don't have a winger, though. Which I think cracks our thoughts. I forget which one is. Um, Ryan Gropp doesn't seem that bad. I mean, he'll probably get a little bit, little bit of a jump. Um, Tim Gettinger might not get that much of a jump. So we'll look to maybe draft the winger. Center, Zabinijad not touching. Heedle, this is where it becomes fun because... Strom wants an extension, but I don't want an extension for him. Um, 37 points on the second line. That's, I'll be honest, that's unacceptable. When you got Zabin and Chad putting up close to a point a game, and then, then on the second line, Ryan Strom doing half of that. Ugh. I'd rather see a second liner get like 40 to 50 points total. Heedle will stay because he'll probably move up to the second line because he had 42 points. Um, that's higher than the actual center we had. Um, Brett Howden, I think I may look to trade because he got injured for 90% of the year. I may look to trade Brett Howden. Christopher N, the guy we got from Detroit, I will happily resign. sign Nieves, it's just a backup I'll happily sign. And then Leas Anderson... Probably will move up to like the third. So in centers, we're pretty good. Vinny Letary, I'm releasing him. Not offering an extension right away. Um, negative 28 points. That's that's not good. Stephen Fogarty, just AHL. Every other AHL guy I'm not really too concerned with. So that takes care of that. Um, now, going back to draft therapy, interviews and stuff like that. Um... I can get to the right screen. Yay! Okay, so what we can look at is at least forwards. Of course, the first seven are going to be forwards and stuff like that. There's so many good people in this draft. Um, yeah, I think we're good at least... Even though... Ugh, but Theo's a uh, center. That... Ugh. That's the only thing. His face also really good though, so what is your ETA? Three years? You know what? Let's get an interview with him. Now we have questions remaining in three. Um and for giving me an interview before the draft. Um I'm really excited by the thought of joining your organization. Awesome. Um let's go with the personality. Let's talk the type of person you are. Sure. Works for me. Um how would you describe your personality? I have high standards for myself and my team. I want to win at all costs. Okay, that's not too bad. Thankfully, switching the subject does not change it. Um, let's go with skills. Strength and weaknesses. Um, let's see what his weaknesses are. More of a skill player, so my physicality is sometimes not there on a high basis. On a nightly basis. Okay, that's... It could be worse. Um, what would be play style? Um, how ready do you think you are to be in the NHL? Because we have our center core, so... Uh, you know what, can you give me a breakdown on how you play on the ice? I excel in making passes and using my vision to make plays. I like to dish the puck, so he'll be a playmaker. And that's the three questions, so awesome. I'm hoping to put on your jersey come draft day. I really hope so, too. Oh, this is pretty cool. Uh, that could be someone we could definitely look out for. I really do like him. Um, and we could easily try for this Connor McClendon dude, but... Uh, Wayne Betts. Dawson Mercer could be another one. He's about three years as well, so we'll pin him and ask him questions. Um, let's go with the play style first. Um, break down play of the ice. Shot is the best asset and I use it as much as possible. I'll put the puck in the net so it seems like he's going to be more like a sniper and stuff like that. Um, obviously new topic because we don't want to dwell on anything else. Um, personality, I don't think really matters sometimes. What is your weaknesses? 
physicality. Okay, so let me just ask what the strength is. Gotta be skating. I think I'm faster than most, can accelerate quickly, and can turn on a dime. That's really good. Um, Dawson Mercer would be another one I wouldn't mind getting. I'm hoping to put on your jersey, blah, 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 blah. He's a sniper, skating, basically, the new age hockey. Um... I just see like the random other ones. Dominic Tucker, Ronnie Hervinen, and I'm trying not to get anybody with without a face. It's one of my like uh, one of my OCDs and stuff like that when it comes to video games. Um hmm. Ah, Tag Pertuzzi's in this draft, okay. Um Maverick Bork, Phil Pertuzzi. The Sonyers, um... Ben King, possibly. See what defenders are available. Uh, Justin Barron will unpin, because I don't think we'll need him. Um, Jeremy Poirier. If I'm not mistaken, that's how you pronounce it, name? Um, European from my other episode, and French-Canadian names I'm really not that good with. Uh, Victor Hadfield... It could be worse. Um, Reinhardt. Oh my god, that name. Bia Kabutu. Uh, Pardon me. Bia Kabutuka. If I can't pronounce your name, I'm not drafting you. <laughs> Simple enough like that. Um, Willie Headfist, Pilo, um, Damon Hunt, Joy and Pear, just. Also trying to look for like gems down here and stuff. Um, actually, yeah, that's what we could look for. Just see if there's any gems. Um. Ah, gem bust. There we go. Okay, there's a couple gems and one bust of Zach Terry. So the gems are two people that I would not rather uh, draft because of their name, because of their faces. Um, but honestly, I don't think five years, four years, you know what, let's go, let's interview this Noel Gundler, even though he doesn't have a face, I'll have to deal with it down the line. Um, let's go with the play style first. What is your play style? Popping in both ends of the ice, so he'd probably be a uh, two-way forward, Okay. Uh, let's go with skills. I'm skipping most of this because I read the first one. Um, what is your weaknesses? My defense is lacking, but I can feel I can make up for in other areas. Such as? Gotta be my skating. Okay. That's not too, too bad. Thanks for the opportunity to interview with an organization as great as yours. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so he's a two-way forward. His strength is skating... But his weakness is defense. That's the only thing that doesn't make sense. Strength? Defense is a weakness, but he's a two-way forward. Wouldn't defense be, oh, I don't know, kind of important? But we'll keep him, at least for maybe the second round or whatever. All right, so I think that's all three of them. Um, all three of the guys that we could do. Yeah, so we're obviously not going to get... Lafreniere or anybody like that. Um, actually, yeah, we could edit the trade block so that we get the people that we want to trade away. Which are... Find um, Mark Stahl. Defenseman. Brendan Smith. And I don't think there's anybody else I would want to... F actually, no, Brett Howden. Yeah, that's right. Um, surplus, yes. And even though it will never work, um, there's basically any forward past the age of 31. Um, what we could do is just pending free agents, even though they'll never take those kind of trades. And basically what we could do is defense from 31 plus. Uh, current picks, fourth and on, because 
Rarely, if ever, do you see a gem in there. Um, the once. There we go. Um, future picks, I'll take anything. Um, go offense and go up to 28, if anything. Go to the prime of their career. Defense, do the same thing. Any defense up to the age of 28. Goalie, I'm not really concerned with. Um, I mean, I would take a pending free agent if they want, if they just want to not take on the contract, then I'll just take any pick they want to give me. Um, but yeah, that will be our trade block going into the draft. And here it is, the NHL entry draft, June 23rd, 2020. Now we'll probably see Alexis Lafreniere go to the Devils. Now, I don't know what the target means, like radar like does that mean like we could trade up for that pick because right now we have the 22nd pick i'm assuming that's what it means like we could have an option to trade up to this pick i mean we could be in a draft class and see i mean you got that phil Voracek kid you got alexander holtz you got i mean we all know lafreniere is going to go one overall and stuff like that um, Marco Rossi is the center, which wouldn't work out well. Um, Justin Barrett, if we wanted to trade up, like, 15, like, 13, 15 area. Um, like, I would trade, uh, this is gonna be tough, because I would trade, uh, who do they want? They want Brett Howden, okay, that's positivity. Um They want Duclair, but Yeah, but they wouldn't take him because of the uh salary issues and stuff like that, so um we have two third round picks, a fourth, fifth, sixth, and two seventh. Um maybe trade them a seventh and a third, and maybe if they want him Mark Stall. I doubt it, but Oh, they do want Mark Saul. Okay. They would have more than 45 skaters in the organization. Just give me a random guy. Just, just absolutely no trade value. And still has... Yeah, give me Limblom. I mean, and to sweeten a deal... I mean, we'll retain about 500k of it. Actually, you know what? No. I'll be nice. I'll go up to 700k with this. Um, consult our trade block again. Blah 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 blah. But anywho, um, so let me just figure out who wants either Stall or Smith. I know most teams would probably want Mark Stall for the experience, but who wants Brendan Smith? Absolutely no one. Alrighty, so what I'll do is just I hate to do it to you, Vancouver, but I'll dump them off to you guys. <laughs> um, I know, don't kill me. Oh, cool, they actually have Queen Hughes in here. Granted, no phase, but still. <laughs> um, I mean, I can probably snag up a fourth round pick, maybe. That seems to be about right. Um. Sorry, maybe a fifth round pick for that matter. No, nobody really wants him. Um, Winnipeg, you want to give up like a fifth or a sixth? No, nobody really wants him because his contract is absolutely terrible. Wow, yeah. I... Okay, Let Alexis Lafreniere has been selected number one overall. Yay. Um, trading block Fowler, okay. That's... I could work with, a. Uh... Sorry, I thought I heard a random noise. Um, Cam Fowler, though. That could work. Not Arizona, I went one too many. Um, they also have Josh Manson up there. Uh, oh god, Fowler's... I mean... Let's see, let's just find the, uh, open the block or whatever. 
Uh, they want Sil Guard, which I'm not willing to give up. Um, they want a first and next year second. No, Leas, no. Okay, it's just pretty cool that you can add, have like uh, a trade finder and stuff like that. Josh Manson would be the other guy I would think about. Um, Sil Guard, no, I'm not looking to trade him. Leas. Okay, so it doesn't look like we're getting any of them. Um, Soderstrom, Ball, no. Uh, Bruins, Frederick, Zaboral, basically nobody that... Um, no. Derek Ryan? Possibly. Um, just trying to think there's any people that I could take on. Not his contract, obviously. What's this Gilbert dude? Dennis Gilbert, top six defenseman. He's basically been playing on AHL, 12 points. Eh, it could be worse. I mean, they're willing to trade a Bogfist, so. I mean, what could we possibly get for Bogfist, if anything? No trades, okay. That's what I figured. Um, trying to look at people who are on trade block and stuff like that. Riley Nash, no. Felino, no. Uh, Marlowe, no. Dupinski, no. Contract, no. Dallas has nobody, apparently. Detroit, no. Edmonton, include Benson, Hebig. Benson, maybe. Hmm. Tyler Benson. Huh. Let me see if there's a tray a third, two thirds, no. Hmm. Okay, so that could be a possibility. Hepo Niemi. Okay. Um, how'd you do? 40 and 76 for Springfield. That's not bad. I don't want to be like too like one pick heavy, and Brodziuk went to the, uh, Florida Panthers. I was gonna call him Carolina Panthers. I'm not with it right now. Um. Okay, we were up to... Yeah, we we're up to Hepo Niemi, uh, LA Kings, Car... Oh, God, these contracts. If they didn't have the contracts, I'd be completely fine. Like, Christopher Stieg? Kyle Clifford, even. We got the one year left. Okay, um. Minnesota, nobody. Montreal. Jordan Wheel, but again, center. Joe Armia. Joe Armia wouldn't be too bad. Huh. I'm a Sino. Simmons and Zajac. Um. Bailey, Lee, Eberly, Zekis, Komarov, Brock Nelson, possibly. They can eat some salary. I'd be willing to trade for him. Um, obviously, nobody for us. Um, Ottawa, Tyler Ennis, are you going on the one deal? Um, Philly, Morgan Frost, but again, center. I don't want to be way too center heavy. Um, hmm. This is kind of tough. Anizev. Artemi Yanizev. Undrafted. Hmm. That four medium defenseman? Don't know anything about his overall, that's the only thing. Um uh, Doesn't look that bad, I mean Yanazev, let's see if we have any trades for them. Kreider and Duke they would take Duclair and Kreider? Huh. Bush, no. Uh, D'Angelo, no. Duclair, yes. 
Okay, here we go, boys. Brett Howden for Kianazev. So we can just see how this trade works out just to begin with. So they're getting Brett Howden, which I wanted to trade away to begin with. Which would probably help out their center core, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Couture, Hurdle. Oh my god. Bill Voracek went third overall to the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, go back to San, Ho San Jose. Um, Yanizev for... Red Howden. Okay, this is kind of an interesting trade. Now, I probably couldn't sneak in a pick or anything like that, I'm thinking. Like, a sneaky little, like, 7th round pick or something like that, could I? Nope, trade accepted! Kianazev, welcome! So, good news is, we got the, um... We got Red Howden off. Now we just need, um... Either stall or... Brendan Smith to go. Okay, now what I wanted to do. I'm completely sorry. Um, oh my god. I'm losing it right now. Finder to edit this. No trades found for him. Um, no trades found for him. Um... I'd have to like manually do this. Um, hey, Weber's on the trade block. Jeff Petrie's on the trade block. Hmm. Just sim a couple picks to see where they. Raymond went uh, to the Senators. Uh, Holtz went to the. Tampa Bay Lightning, so they get another amazing guy. Quinton Byfield goes to the Montreal Canadiens. Um, Perfetti goes to the Detroit Red Wings. Lundell goes to Buffalo. Marco Rossi went to the Predators. Wow, okay. Strangers went... Or Strangers. Strangers? I don't know. Went to the Islanders. The Edmonton Oilers. Anisimov, Okay. Zary, okay, went there. Uh, Vegas. Sordiff, okay. Um, anything I might want to trade up to St. Louis's pick. Bowdy, okay, just for Justin Barron. Uh, Justin Barron went pick 15 to the Columbus Blue Jackets. Excellent pick for them. So, I guess we can just sim pick by pick, but Mickelson to St. Louis. Drysdale to Calgary. Schneider to the Kings. Kozhenov to uh, Ottawa. Edmonton gets Ghoul. And Minnesota takes Theo Rochette. Oh, God. Oh, God, that sucks. This Theo Rochette was the main guy I wanted. Um, crap. Ah, uh, Ryan O'Rourke, Nolan, ticket in. I mean, Mercer is down at 32. Um, I mean, could we, uh, what do we do here? Um, you know what, we could trade, we could probably swap first round picks and then pick up a third, if anything. Um, they're first and let's try and pick up Arizona's third for this pick. Rejected. Okay, um. Or actually, you know what? What about their third round pick? They rejected, apparently, or. Apparently, they don't want to trade up. Um. That's a problem. Y'all. Philly does not want to trade. Um. I guess I already picked. Actually, you know what? Instead of a first, we could probably... Actually, no, we need to stay in the first round. Oh, this sucks. Um... 
and trade to Boston and then maybe pick up a six to pick up more picks later. Trade accepted. Awesome. So we're just moving down a couple picks. Boston selects ticket in. Dallas selects O'Rourke. Okay, top four. Nolan, quote unquote, a defenseman, but Greek to the Flyers, and then it's us. So with our first round pick, our first pick of the draft, it is going to be Dawson Mercer from the uh, Drummondville Voltigeers. Welcome to the New York Rangers. Top nine medium. I will take that. I would have loved Theo Rochette, but... So I guess we'll just uh, sim to the next round because there's only like four more picks or whatever. Um, four or five more picks. Bull. Um, okay, McClendon, top six medium, so not normal. Um, okay, so what we can do is trade off Mark Stahl and Brendan Smith's contracts to... Actually, I don't know why I, can do why I was doing that. I can easily just sort by salary. Um, Mark Stahl, where Toronto, Vancouver wants him. Um, Nashville wants him. Minnesota, congratulations, you are getting Mark Stahl. Um, next year, six and seventh is all I want. Next year, six is all I want. Oh my god. At your seventh? Oh my god. Fine, I'll throw in a seventh of this year. I'll throw in Vancouver seventh. You're not even the right city or ballpark. You won him though. Fine, take take Boston sixth round pick of this year. No, what why is Mark Stahl so hard to trade? The Kings won him and they have the uh excess of cap room, so. Um, okay. They want him and they want that, but they don't want... What if we retain 300k of it? No? Oh my god. Dallas, you want him. Jesus Christ, you really don't have picks, Dallas. 2023 set. Uh huh! Okay, so in this round we have. Obviously, our 22nd pick. So let's just sim up to there. I guess we can't actually do anything. Um, Kupacek, just looking to see if there's anybody. Gunler's still available, who is the top six medium. Um, who I think I'm an actually pick. Yeah, we're gonna go with, uh, Noel Gunler, who's apparently a gem in this draft, so, um, Oliver Terrain will be the other, but yeah, we're gonna go with Noel Gunler. Top six medium, I will take him. Um, top six medium. Top four medium. It's about what you expect for this draft, or this round. So, let's send my head to the next pick. Um, and right now it's just guessing game, because I don't know what's available. For Kegel, that guy, and Pyrrhonin. Ari Pyrrhonin. Um... You don't seem half bad, so we're gonna go with uh Carrie Pierroinen. Keep with the Finnish uh goaltenders. Fringe starter medium, okay. And then we have the very next pick. Okay, that works. <laughs> um Hmm. Um Another top six medium for John Mysek. Let's go with him. Alright, so far so good. Um, up to pick 115, which is the third round already. Um, Hilo, um, 
Damon Hunt or Gustav's Nikinin. Um, Nikinin doesn't seem half bad. He lacks the size, but... Yeah, let's go with Gustav's Nikinin. If nothing else, we can make him Kratzoff. And then we go to pick 148. Uh, fifth round, pick 24. Um, again, guessing game at this point. So Prika, different. Um, remember, we don't have to sign every one of these. It's just, um, he's actually got halfway decent potential at this point. Two star medium elite. But these are all guys like, eh. Um, we could go with another Volta Gear guy. Go with Xavier Simono. And we have pick 181. Um, there's still like real name faces in here. Nice. Um, round six, pick 26. Um, um, He's a gem, and Jamison Gibson, he was the other guy, so... Low Elite! I will take that in a heartbeat! Below was the other uh, Low Elite down here. And then Fortunus, and then Westgarth is a, another guy here. Um, okay, so... Sim 2... Sim 3 picks. And we have the 3rd pick of the 7th round. We have the 14th, and we have our normal picks, so... One OCD thing I always have is I try to trade for the very last pick in a draft, no matter where I am. That's why I try and stockpile picks. Um, Carolina, you want to move up? Cool. Um, we now have the last pick in a draft, which I'm happy about. And Carolina moving up has selected Ayakobo. Okay. Wayne Simmons alongside other goods have been moved to the Detroit Red Wings. Okay. Predators are obtained Nelson. Okay. Now, down this area is where I want to trade Mark Stahl, but apparently nobody wants Mark Stahl or Brendan Smith at this point. Because you see, if it, it would light up green if anybody wanted him. Um, I mean... I would give him the Ottawa, even. Oh my god, they have Bobby Ryan still. Not that I want that contract or anything, but that'd be nice. Dylan DeMello, um... I wouldn't have to resign him or anything, but... They rejected... Can we add a pick in here? Our 22nd pick? No. Can we add both picks in here? They reject it. God dang it. Um, yeah, Brendan Smith and Mark Stahl are the two hardest guys to trade off right now. Um, really make it worth our while. I, I'm good with my seven round picks then. Um, pick number 200. 200th overall pick of the draft. Um, we still do have a couple, like, not halfway decent, but not too bad. Um, see any random goalies halfway decent? No. Mm -hmm. Um, could go with Isaac Phillips. We're gonna go with Cole Stewart from the Mooseheads. Bottom six medium, okay. To make picks, we have our pick 22. Um, Gerard Keane's there. Um, um, hmm. You know, we're gonna go with this Kyrell Sapotic. HL top sits, okay. And then the very last pick in the draft. Oh boy, it's gonna be fun. Um, don't mind me. Um, very last pick in the draft. 
Philip Aistrom, who has been in drafts forever. Um, Simon Levine. Um, again, we don't have to sign any of these guys. It's just we couldn't get rid of them. Um, couldn't get rid of our other guys. So, Nolan Richie. Let's just try and find a cool name. And no, we're not going to go with Ovechkin. Um, let's see if there's any, like, thing close to a Kratzov or a Fox. I don't know why I paused there. That wasn't you guys, that was apparently this. Yeah, this isn't you guys. This is literally just a sports thing. Um, maybe it'll be easier just to search by center. Well, search by position. Bots and Kratzev are the only two names we'll be looking for. Uh, Fortier, no. Um... Let's just go right... Oh my god, that's an awesome name, Johnny Hooker. Um, nice, Blackman's a bottom six medium, which... Actually, for... Actually, halfway impressive. You know, yeah, let's go with, uh... Bobrovsky, goddammit. Um, let's go with Matthias Blackman as the very last pick in the draft. He may be terrible, but that is your first draft class. I'm happy with Mercer and a couple other people. I'm happy with most of this draft class. I'm sad we couldn't get Theo Rochette, but hey, what are you gonna do? Trade alert, the Islanders have traded... Second round picks for a fourth round pick, okay. I'm kind of redundant at this point. Alright, now we go to the re-sign phase of expiring contracts on your team. I'll take care of that in a second, and... Yes. I'll take care of the re-sign phase, and then I'll be right back. <laughs> 